This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to the show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. My name is Joey Massio. I was a middle school teacher for seven years, and now I run Sidekick to Hero, a gamified mindset training program that helps teens with confidence, social skills, and goals. It's available now on desktop at sidekicktohero.com. Today, I want to talk about not letting your age stop you. I just did a podcast for the teens that I talked to, and you know teens do it, right? I mean, teens are looking forward to ages so much. Every age is a milestone, but that also lets them limit themselves where they think they can't take leadership positions, for example, because they're the youngest one in the room, or they can't start working and earning money yet because they're only 13 or 14. So that, that's out of the question. And sometimes they let their age limit them. Well, letting your age limit you isn't just something that teens do. You know that we do it too. In fact, tomorrow is my 40th birthday. Today's my last day in my 30s, and my brain is creating so much drama that I have to work on uh, deleting from my brain. My brain wants to tell me, dude, once you're 40, it means you should have these things or you should be these things, and you can no longer be these other things. And I, I don't care how old or young you are. Your age is just a number. And especially for you adults, I mean, once once you hit 21, there's little that you're actually limited by when it comes to the government or other organizations, right? Like literally the world is your your oyster. But there's thoughts out there. You're too old to start doing blank. You're too young to really step up into any leadership positions at your school. Yeah. All those thoughts are not helpful and not even true because age is really irrelevant to what you can and can't accomplish. Don't let your age stop you from applying for a position that you want, from heading up a committee that you want to head up, from having older friends or having younger friends. Don't let your age stop you from being silly. I know we're old, but we can still be silly. And don't let your age stop you from setting out to achieve your dreams. For teens, the message is you're not too young. But when I talk to adults, the message changes to you're not too old to start pursuing any dreams that you want to, uh, to pursue. Now, I'm saying age here and the number of age, but you can also apply this to how many years you've been a teacher or an administrator. Sometimes we're like, well, no, this is is your first year. You shouldn't be doing all these things. I remember my very first year being a teacher, I hit the ground running. The, The school hired me kind of late because the person they had for that uh, position. Uh, she had, had to leave suddenly cause, cause she got pregnant. So she's like, you know what? I'm actually not going to take this job. And I was their second choice. So they hired me and I started like three weeks late and I was running a whole theater program. And I'm like, I'm not going to let these seniors at this high school not have a great final year. Let's go. And I started doing all these things. And I remember my department chair came up to me about a month in and sat me down and said, look, Joey, you're, you're doing too much right? You got to learn how to be a teacher first before you can, you know, run these giant fundraisers and do these other things. And I was like, no, I, I don't, I don't think I I do. Like I'll, I'll figure it all out as I go. And it wasn't like I was a, you know, wasn't a good teacher or anything. All my reviews from the principals were, were stellar, but she just thought she was limited in her mind. So she was attempting to limit me to limit me in mine and say, you know what? You shouldn't be doing all these things. Just focus on being in the classroom. And I'm like, you know what? I, that's just not me. Sorry. And she really didn't like it, but I went ahead anyway, and I did it. And 
those students, those seniors especially, had a really great final year uh, because uh, I did not let my mind limit myself. So ask yourself, how are you letting a number stop you in your life? What limitations do you put on yourself or do you let the world or others put on you that just aren't real? Because your age will always change. Every year, in fact. But what I want to always stay the same for you is your freedom to be who you want to be. Age is just a number. It's the thoughts you think and the actions you take that make your life what it is and what it is not. Thanks for listening. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bpodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.